Six days ago, we boarded this icebreaker. And since then, we have traveled 1,100 nautical miles from the northernmost city in the world all the way here to the North Pole. We're on top of the world! We are gonna be spending the next 24 hours stuck here in the ice on top of the world. And in just a few minutes, we're going to be changing out of these warm parkas and into our swimsuits. Polar plunge at the North Pole! <sighs> here we go. We are so close, seven nautical miles away from the North Pole. And for the first time in six days of being on the ship, we are about to have the opportunity to get off and stand on the ice that we've been watching flow past out the window for the last week. Finally! What a day, stepping on the Arctic ice for the first time and hopefully later this evening, actually reaching the North Pole. Can you abide to drop? Okay, we have a lot of clothes to put on. Waterproof pants. Insulated layer. Super cheap H&M sweatshirt that I bought last week. I might should put my sweatpants on. Are you putting your sweatpants on? I don't have sweatpants. Socks. Insulated buff. And our coats. Whew. I am warm. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it's getting colder the lower we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Our first time, well, it's not touching land. I was gonna say our first time touching land in six I days. Oh, you trusted the thickness of that ice. <laughs> We're doing it. Oh my God. We're standing on the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> this is insane. There is nothing between us and the sea floor except for two meters of ice and thousands of feet of water. Look how deep this is. I feel like we're gonna blow away. We're experiencing 30 knots of wind. <laughs> Landings are working as the expedition team came out before us. They set up these poles to mark a perimeter, and then pretty much we're just completely free to do whatever we want inside of the perimeter. I love having this amount of freedom. We also have to wear our life jackets because there is the possibility of falling through the ice into the water, which would definitely be scary, but also kind of awesome. Woo! I don't know how much I love that. It's kind of slushy on top. Being out here. Walking on the ice, just seeing how much snow there is, and then knowing that this ice is holding up hundreds of people gives me even more appreciation for the work that this boat has been doing to break through the ice for the last six days. I'm warm. This is hard work. The snow is different thicknesses all over the ice. So every once in a while, you'll just be walking, and then all of a sudden, you'll sink all the way down to your knee. I just feel so grateful to be here. This is amazing. In addition to the stakes that they have marking the outer perimeter of where we can go, they also have guards stationed with rifles and handguns to protect us in case a polar bear comes. We still haven't seen one yet. There are 25,000 in this world and not a single one of those has crossed paths with our ship in the last week. They do say it's less likely to see a polar bear actually around the North Pole. You'd be more likely to see it where the ice is more broken up somewhere further south. I cannot believe at some point in the next 24 hours I'm gonna be out here in a bathing Dude, jumping in the water! <laughs> the one word that I can think of to describe that experience was intense. <laughs> Even though there technically wasn't anything to do but walk in a circle, I could stay out here all day. Just the feeling of standing on a frozen Ocean. I love it. This is the best day ever. So, just to let you know, then we finish all our operation on the ice. So, consequently, we will um, start to push in again to North Pole. All right, we have to start at the last eight nautical miles until we get to the North Pole. It's pretty crazy. We actually had to back up out of that big ice sheet that we had rammed into to find a cleaner path to get there. We are officially on our way to the North we interrupt this video to bring you some breaking travel news. We are launching a newsletter called The Daily Drop. 
Every weekday, we are going to be delivering the top travel news with a heavy focus on miles and points directly to your inbox. Enabling you to stay up to date on the latest tips, tricks, and deals in less than five minutes per day. Let me tell you why I am so excited about this. Like, more excited than I have been about anything in a very long time. Miles and points have played a huge part in Kara and I's travel journey. Before we left to go travel full time at the beginning of 2016, we had saved up nearly two million miles and points, and we used those points to pay for the majority of flights that we took during our first year of full-time travel as we visited 30 countries. Now we're using our miles and points in a slightly different way to unlock travel experiences that we wouldn't be able to afford otherwise, like a first-class Emirates flight that should have cost over $5,000, but instead cost less than 100. I estimate that to date, miles and points have saved us over $50,000 in free travel. And to celebrate the launch of the daily drop, Kara and I have purchased 1 million miles of points worth over $10,000 in free travel, and we're gonna be giving them away to readers of the newsletter over the next two weeks. It's completely free to sign up for. All you have to do is click the link in the description below or scan the QR code here on the screen. Knowing how close we are to the North Pole, I just can't let myself go inside. I feel like Nate right now. I'm just too excited. The wind is blowing harder, it's snowing more, and the ice that we're going through is getting thicker and thicker. Gosh, just watching us go through these huge ice chunks is just mesmerizing. I cannot believe we're about to be at the the North Pole. We're hanging out on the bridge where all the action's happening as we approach the North Pole. I feel like if anybody's gonna celebrate that we got there safely, it's gonna be all the guys behind me. Seriously, those time lapses of the ship sped up moving through the ice make me appreciate what they're doing so much more. Also, they have some futuristic space looking ice chart it looks like a spider web and apparently that's showing them where the thinnest ice is so we're not taking the most direct path to the north pole we're taking the one that makes the most sense based on the thickness of the ice and how quickly we're getting there so we are two million miles south of north pole and we will now start to proceed ahead in order to try to catch 90 zero zero so the show must go and come and enjoy i'm just so glad we get to be up here and see it from their perspective The moment the captain took his seat, everyone got quiet. The mood has totally changed up here. Dear passengers, just to let you know that we just reached a latitude of 89 degrees, 59 minutes north. We just have one minute left to go, which is one nautical mile or 1,852 meters to reach the North Pole. a movie and it was about to be the climax and someone just paused it and made you wait for an hour. That's what it's felt like. I have no idea what's going on but I feel like we're close. I can't understand anything that's going on just based on the fact that nobody's cheering we missed again. <laughs> So 
dear passengers, um, we finally succeed to find the 900, uh, despite it was uh, a bit challenging due to the wind condition and the ice. Uh, however, we did it. Uh, and now we invite all of you uh, in the atrium, uh, deck 5, uh, to celebrate um, this uh, first time um, for the Command Charco with passenger to reach uh, North Pole. We made it! We're on top of the world! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I feel like we should celebrate, but at the same time, I feel like all we did was get on the cruise ship and be on vacation for the last week, and now we're here. We've been living in luxury. So in a way, it kind of feels <laughs> wrong to celebrate. I feel like I needed to pull a sled here or something. I can't believe it. The North Pole! It wasn't even on my bucket list because it was that far out there that I didn't even think it was ever going to be a possibility in my lifetime. But here we are! Two kids from Tennessee who left to go backpacking for a year and spent all their money. <laughs> we got into the North Pole. Hey, Christian, we are in the North Pole. Mr. Nathan is my guest. With Cara, okay? Thank you. Again, again, let's go. He's our room attendant. He's been awesome all week. Karen's taking photos. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! <laughs> Look at these giant balls. <laughs> Merci. Cheers! We made it! Cheers! It's 11 p.m. I'm wearing sunglasses and we're at the North Pole. Good morning from the top of the world. Slept amazing last night. My best sleep was the entire cruise because the boat was perfectly still. Just parked here in the ice. Today we are spending a full day at the North Pole. But first, let us give you a little tour around. I have no clue what that thing is, but I want one. Or I at least want to drive one once. So there's really not that much to do at the North Pole because it's pretty much just ice. But they have set up a bunch of fun photo ops. I just realized this was an arrow. Oh, we're doing it! We're pulling it! We're doing it! Wow, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, that was hard. Oh. Okay. All good. I feel like a little kid out playing in the snow. Today is also French National Day. This is the world's slowest break. I wonder how old this is. Thank you. It just hit me that not only is champagne a celebratory drink, but this is also a French chip. So this is like a celebration and a cultural experience all in one. Champagne and caviar at the North Pole. This is the proper celebration. Also, this is only my third time having caviar. First time I was on a plane, second time I was on a train, third time I was on a frozen sea. Where will I eat caviar next? <laughs> Okay, I'm getting my mile in. I'll explain what all of this is about in the next video. Nate is nuts. Oh, the weather's taking a turn for the worse this afternoon. The wind's picked up, the snow's started, and in the next hour or so, we're supposed to be jumping in this water. <laughs> it was so bright and sunny this morning. If all goes as planned, we are doing the polar plunge in about an hour. So I've come to the sauna to get my body temp up. 
I was still pretty cold from this morning. I don't think this is cheating. I was just thinking about how much I've grown as a person the last couple years because two and a half years ago in Antarctica, Nate had to pull me out of bed. Don't make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make me do it. Drag me out of our room to do the polar plunge. I was zero percent excited and 100 percent nervous i didn't want to do it at all and here we are at the north pole and they didn't even have to ask me if i wanted to do it it was just understood that i was participating and i'd say i'm like 50 percent excited 50 percent nervous ladies and gentlemen so we confirm at 3 p.m we'll start the polar plunge please you can start to disembark and go oh we're doing it the wind it hurts we are at the north pole in bathrooms! Ugh. How was it? Good. Very good. <laughs> okay. Cold. Oh, you are here. <laughs> Minus 0 0.5 degrees for the water. Are you ready? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> you gotta need to take off your boots at some point. Oh, I forgot about my boots! Oh my gosh, my feet! Okay, I was a huge weenie when I did this in Antarctica. I have the world's biggest brain freeze. My goal is to stay in the water for 10 seconds. My heart is beating so fast. I can literally, as I'm walking, like feel the blood in my legs. Like I can feel it tingling and moving around. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's already bad. I think this is the worst part. Ah, oh, the belt's so cold. I gotta do a belly flop. Okay. I figure it doesn't matter, right? I'm not gonna be able to feel my body anyway. I might as well belly flop. <sighs> One minute of pain for a lifetime of memories. <laughs> ah, this feels so wrong. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Okay, I've enjoyed it. You did it! Oh, I feel dizzy. <laughs> oh, I still have the belt on. I still have the belt on. How do you feel? Oh, like half a human. Oh, like he can't think straight. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You stayed up for so long. Wow, I committed to the belly flop and I'm proud of that. You did not hold back. Who's in charge of the shots? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Police station. Sante. Congratulations. Sante. Cheers. Ah, I feel yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. I love you. I'm so proud of you. you. Oh. <laughs> wow, I don't even feel cold. It's not my hands, my hands yeah, are my cold. my hands are pretty cold. I can't believe we just swam in below freezing water. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I should have Thanks. Harry. I don't even feel cold. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's it for the video. See you in the next one. We are sitting away here. From the North Pole, we were able to uh, see from the helicopter our previous track, which was easy to uh, see it. Uh, and we'll try to uh, follow this track. Uh, and uh, 14 nautical miles south is a uh, big Polynia, which means uh, a space with open water. Before you go, we wanted to say a big thank you to Swoop for helping us plan this adventure and making it possible, and also a thank you to Ponot for inviting us on board their beautiful ship. If you'd like to travel to the North Pole, or if you need help planning your next polar adventure, we'll leave links to both of these companies in the description below. I think maybe don't tuck your sweatshirt into your underwear. You won't be able to see it. I'm trying to prevent air from escaping. This is like a test for the North Pole. I don't feel like we're gonna be out there long because it's almost lunchtime. I think very few people on this boat are concerned about lunch. Oh, uh, sorry. This girl likes to eat. <laughs>